Hey everyone, I'm back on the road again. Going to the rec field. Uh, they had uh, a festival there about a week or so ago, the Apple Festival. Had a good turnout, there's a good amount of people there, so I'm gonna see if we can find probably a clad day. But you never know, somebody could have lost something, jewelry or something, something valuable. So we're gonna go see what we can find. Uh, and I'll let you know when I get there. All right, guys. So I'm here. This is a rec field right here. Baseball field and whatnot. So might not show you a lot of what I'm hunting today, because you can see what you know the misty on my windshield here. Uh, it's still kind of wet. So and my metal detector costs more. Actually, I mean my camera costs more than my metal detector. So, um, but I'll definitely show you what I do find, and maybe I'll be able to show you guys a little bit of hunting action too so uh, stick with me alright guys so I say I'll be maybe here about five minutes I'm 26 cents and part of a crushed coke can and it started pouring yep I'm all wet and I didn't want to risk getting my equipment as far as my metal detector and my camera all wet Otherwise, I'm okay with it, but I think we're going to call it a day for now. If it lightens up later on, just may go back out and hunt some more, so. But, uh, I'll get back All with right, you. Alright, folks, just to show you how much it is actually raining, how bad it is, we're going to shut off the wipers for a minute. See how fast my windshield covers. Yeah, see? It's uh, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. All right, wiper time. So it's patchy in places. Some places are raining more than others. But this is what we have to deal with here right now in Maine. So hopefully you guys had better hunting days. Like I said, I might get out later on calms down a little bit but if not I'll probably go come back out tomorrow and uh, just put today and tomorrow together so alright uh, keep watching alright guys so it's a couple of hours later and as you can see it stopped raining so I'm gonna go back out again go back to the field and see what I can find so keep watching alright guys I'm back here's the field Nice and wet, so it should be easy to dig. And over in that clump of trees over there, about right there, there's a big old crane that I scared from driving in over there. He flew over like this. So that's how birds fly. Uh, ended up in those trees over there somewhere. So maybe I'll see him later on if he sticks around. But stick with me and hopefully we can find something. All right, guys, I'm back. Well, today's hunt started off wet and ended wet. Um, came out with 71 cents, a quarter, three dimes, two nickels, six pennies. And <clears throat> fastener, some sort. Uh, and also, I found a nice chunk of steel or something, some type of metal, uh, a couple of crushed soda cans, so, but that was today's hunt, down at the rec field, what I really wanted to show you guys also was something that I came across, my grandmother gave me, uh, and I've cleaned it up, and it's pretty nice looking, it is, a Ronson tabletop lighter. Now normally if it was in working condition, you push down and here's your wick right there. You see the wheel. It would light the wick. And it would normally have green felt on the bottom. 
this is how I got to actually clean it up, polished it with silver polish. It is silver plated. And besides it not, at this moment, working, the only other, without having the green felt, the only other thing that is really cosmetically wrong with it, is it was just when he dropped it, right there. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. Maybe I can get it to focus here. Let's see here. There we go. Ronson Queen Anne. Maybe you'll be able to see the patent numbers. I'm not entirely sure. If you can't, it says US patent number 9023 expires June 12th of 1952. And it was made in Newark, New Jersey. They sold these as sets with other things where you could buy them individually. But I just wanted to show you that. Like I guess it's, it's, I think it's neat. It was, it, they started making it in 1936 and ended around 1961, so it's got some history to it. Uh, like I said, it's silver plated. Not sure what the uh, base metal is, but um, yeah. And I found these usually. <clears throat> Between good and mint condition, anywhere between fifteen and forty dollars. So, and it weighs about uh, three. I think it's three hundred and fifty-five grams or something like that. So, anywho, that's a little tabletop waiter here. I was thinking about selling it today, and I don't know. I just may still sell it. Who knows? Alright, well, I'll keep hunting, you guys keep hunting, I'll get back later with you all.